Hello and welcome to today's video start. My name is Josh. Don't forget to use code Josh for 10% top. Where else time market? Friday is uh, Friday is near the um, forest stall and Saturday is near Wilco's. Uh, so if you see this on Saturday and you vape or you want some electronics, why not come down and get some? Review today is Heisen Heisenberry by Angel Fresh and it's a 6MG. Also, I asked Dave if I could do a coil. If I could have a coil for the review. Didn't really need one, but I thought, hmm, let's show them how you can actually prime a coil for people who are new and they're just buying a new mod and you don't really understand the whole coil priming and everything like that. So I thought, you know, why not? So this is the coil. Doesn't matter what coil it is, every coil is the same. You have four holes on the side on the V8 baby coil. You also have a hole at the bottom. Very important, no liquid comes at the bottom, but then it kind of wants to get to the bottom too. So I'll show you the way around that. I got a bit of juice left in this, so I'm gonna cut the video, drain this tank and I'll get back with you. All right, so back now, I got myself a knife because I'd have to come close in because of the sun behind me. Uh, I got myself a knife just to show you how you can do it. Make sure you're Tank is off your mod. So for this one, it is absolutely tight. I cannot undo it. So stick the knife in, and then just twist it a couple of times. This is where my tank's overheated while I was on the uh, coil, and therefore, you know, it comes straight off like that. But this coil is probably about seventy percent done. Because there's near enough no liquid at the bottom and I left loads of liquid in the tank. So that coil needed changing anyway. So it's gonna be a bit of a struggle just to get this just to get this one coil off. Maybe if I just undo the tank and just pour a liquid in there. Just so I don't waste none. And just maybe there we go. So this one is gonna be a bit of a pain in the butt, but because, like I said, it has overheated, so this bit here is going to come with it. So I'm going to pause the video while I take this off, because it's going to be quite a hard bit, so one minute. Alright then, i uh gone ahead and got the bit off the uh, coil. Three coils. Yeah, so now looking at the top there, it's about probably about 80-90% done, not 70 So let me show you how you prime the coil. So what you want to do is go ahead and get your liquid. This is a 10 ml bottle, if you're just curious. I can never really open up these ones once they're new. Oh god. Wow, these are always a hard thing. So I'm going to cut the video so I can get it open. Alright, so I got it open, eventually. So what you want to do is just literally just run around your coil. And just keep squirting it in. I'll try to show you what I'm doing. Basically all I'm doing is just rubbing it around though. And just keep squirting little drops in there at a time. Some little contact points. And just kind of squirt it in there. Probably see if I can get it on video for you. Just squirting it in. And then I'm just turning the coil over. And I'm just going to go ahead and squirt some more in. And just leave it. And then squirt more in. And leave it till it sucks up again. Let's get more in. I tend to do like uh, probably about five squirts on each side. So you're looking at about 20 squirts of the bottle, which is about 10, like, probably like a mil gone. We juice just to prime it, I know. And last squirt. And then go ahead and move over to the next one. Now once the liquid doesn't soak in, you just want to keep turning your coil side to side just to make sure it gets all in there. Just take another little squirt. And you see, just moving it side to side. Just to make sure it gets in there. And then go on the last little coil bit. And that's okay. Sorry, I forgot to say, it's uh, Heisenberry 
5050 6mg and it's by Angel Fresh. It's uh, yep, used to doing that now. Oh, you want to make sure it's nice and saturated. Pull down it if you want to, um, as that does help a bit. But to the point though, when the coil's actually not even soaking in that way, that's when you know it is done. Now then for the bottom, you just want to just trip each side in very slowly, so then you know it does go down. Then what you want to do then is just blow down it. Like so. So that coil's all primed. Um, you normally leave for like a minute or two. But since I juiced up um, that much, I'm not going to leave for a minute. I'm just going to whack it straight in. Which you should normally never do. You should always leave it in for two to three minutes, just depending on your coil. I'll just screw that back in. Uh, it is a very oily process, this. So if you don't really like the uh, oils on your hand, oh, that's what I mean, I love dropping stuff for me. Good job it was all metal. So yeah, if you don't like oily stuff on your hand, um, just go ahead and wear some gloves. But if you do wear gloves, just know it will slip, as I have done that in the past. So what I normally do is I normally just grab a bit of my top and just wipe it. That's all I do. Mix gets all the oil off the tank. Well, about 80 to 90% of the oil off the tank. And then just rub it side to side just to make sure that you get it all. So there you go. That coil is now primed. Just, wow. Just beating the hell out of this drip tip today. And you just want to go ahead and just fill it up. I'll show you the filling process. So it's nothing too bad. Can you all see that? Yeah, you can see that. You just want to squirt a full tank in. Let alone I'm doing this about 8 p.m. at night. Hoping I am fingers crossed that it is going to be ready for tomorrow. So you just want to put your top back on. Like so. And then uh, that is the other coil. If I just put my hand behind it, maybe we can see... Well, it's quite worn down a bit, and then underneath it looks brand new because the um, you're sucking in like like that, so all the air is passing through the coil, making that nice and clean, and making that all dirty at the top. So the way I got the thingy off was with a pair of pliers and a knife. You don't really need a knife; you can use scissors, anything that's thin enough to fit into the gap but always make sure your tank's off or if you're doing it with your mod take out the batteries safety is always first don't want one of these blown up into your face because you've seen the video that I've done and I'm not responsible for that if that does ever happen which if you just follow my rules and you just follow what I basically told you then no, it wouldn't really happen so this coil is apparently a 0.4 ohm and it is reading at a 0.3 95 ohm which is probably about point zero zero five ohms off which not too bad uh, that's flavor all the time I'm gonna let that sit for like a couple of minutes I just got a dry hip so I'll be back in a minute Alright, so it's been a minute, and if you want to just speed up the process just a little bit, just go ahead and minimize your airflow to near enough nothing, and just take five to ten um, deep puffs. If you're going to do this, um, and you juice it up like I did, make sure you grab like a top or a rag or something like that, that the juice can catch in, otherwise you will get down your throat, and sometimes it's not a pleasant taste, so I'll just go on. That's two. 
that's three. That's four. Let alone whilst I'm doing this, I am not actually even pressing the thing. If I was, then it wouldn't have done that, and it would have looked like this. Where smoke would have come out. But as I'm not. That's six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. So in that case, no juice come out too much, which was good. And now you can go ahead and vape on it like normal would. And I've got a bit of restriction. So I'm vaping this a wide airflow on the big baby beast tank. Now where I did say that I have beaten up the dripper, you can actually see that where there's lines on it. I'm running this at 35 watts. And now I'm actually going to turn it down half airflow because I'm going way too much airflow. I'm going to sit back where it's all going to go dark and the sky's going to go light. <laughs> 